It's all about the prompts. So if you've been using ChatGTP like the rest of the 9 million plus people that are out there using it, you're gonna find out pretty quickly that ChatGTP is more effective when you use the right prompts. And today we're gonna cover seven examples of the prompts that we're currently using and how do you best use them in order to create your marketing and help you along with your marketing. More importantly, after that, we're gonna show you the two sites that we've been leveraging to not only learn more and more about AI, but also capture even more prompts that you can leverage to use with ChatGTP. Jump right in and we're gonna to go to our first prompt. So we're not going to take any credit for the ones that we created today because a lot of them we captured from awesome ChatGTP prompts by these incredible creators and a collection of creators that have been literally gathering all these prompts that they've been leveraging over the last few months. But that being said, let me jump right into some of the prompts we're using for our marketing. So I made a quick little list. Uh, a lot of the things that we do in marketing, right, have to do with social media, have to do with a content creation, have to do with being coming an advertiser, have to do with being a design consultant, and so forth and so on. So we gathered all these, and there's many, many more out there. And we're gonna, again, at the end of this video, we're gonna show you exactly what sites to go to to get even more ideas and dive into this crazy rabbit hole of AI. And we're gonna show you where to access these sites later on in this video. We're gonna take the first one that we love, act as a social media influencer. Now, what we've been learning about ChatTTP is, remember, it is a system that is meant to replicate human behavior. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it like basically a personality or a job that it needs to act in that capacity. So for instance, the first prop that we found is, I want you to act as a social media influencer. You're gonna create content for various platforms such as Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and engage with followers. And in order to increase your brand awareness and promote products and services. My first suggestion, uh, my first suggestion request is, we're gonna change this and we're gonna say, to promote my Facebook ads course. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter. What it's doing, you're basically giving it instructions of the way it needs to act. And it's gonna prompt you back with exactly what you asked it for. You're asking it like, well, what kind of content am I creating? I'm a social media influencer, what do I need to do? And again, it's gonna give you some really collaborative ideas in order to do that. Now, why this is powerful is, is the problem when you're in the advertising or marketing world, the content generation and creation is always where people get a little bit stuck at and they run out of ideas if they're already you know, creating content or, or doing things that they needed to do. With this, this gives you a little bit more ideas, which the best part of ChatGTP is that it can build on what you've already created. If I say share a sneak peek into a course content such as brief video clips or screenshots of lesson materials, this will give the followers a taste of what they expect to learn in the course. And then I said, can you give me further examples of this? What it's going to do, it's going to give you more examples of like the different sneak peeks you can do for your particular program. Now, this is pretty awesome. You're going to take some of these ideas, continuously span on them. You can even then start elaborating as you go through. All of these prompts that we're going to share with you today definitely have different things you can do with them, but then you can take the prompts that you've received and the answers you got back and elaborate even more. Write a video script or Enter. I'm going to keep going down until I build exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm going to take pieces and bits of this contact, create a Google sheet, just like you have here. At the end of it, start building out like your course contact as you go through. This is exactly what it's going to do. It's going to create a little video script of everything that you want to happen during that video when you're doing the course creation or when you're doing your social media influencing. This is again, just one prompt, but notice how I'm building from one prompt to the other to the other. And that's what we want you all to do. And this is definitely going to help you like building out what whatever materials you have. If you wanted to throw in a little spontaneity or just making it a little bit different, I can say, make this up, uh, make this one. And a little more. And again, I'm just leveraging some good ideas that are in here. And then it remakes everything that we just talked about. It's now making it a little bit funnier. It's making it a little bit more human. You can add your steps. You can do whatever you need to do with it. So this was only our first prompt. And as you can see, it's still going. Now let's go into our second prompt. I want you to act as an educational content creator. Most of us that are, are YouTube creators or content creators act as a content creator in order to really deliver things that are going to be teaching our customers everything they need to do. So if I come over here, and I paste, I want you to act as an educational content creator. You will need to create engaging informative content from learning materials such as textbooks, online courses, and lecture notes. I need a lesson plan for how to best use AI in my market. I'm not gonna go in as deep as did the other one. You then could create video scripts for this. You can create lesson plans. Now, what I'm gonna do is create the first few slides for this lesson plan. Create a first few slides to that lesson plan. Again, if I'm a course creator, 
this is gonna be something that I wanna really truly develop. And there you go. Now it's creating slide one. It's telling me what's gonna be in slide one. I can then go in and modify and keep continuing on this. We are now a social media influence to do content creation. We're just gonna keep going down this rabbit hole, right? So I want you to act as a plagiarism checker. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna copy a little bit of it because one thing that the AI will do is give you things that it's pulling from the internet that it's learned from somewhere else. So the odds of it having some kind of form of plagiarism is significantly high, but you can keep playing with it, rephrasing it until you get something that doesn't have any plagiarism. Or you can ask it here, which is the one that we've used is, I want you to act as a plagiarism checker. I will write you sentences and you will reply, only reply undetected in plagiarism checks, the language given sentence and nothing else. Do not write explanations on my replies. My first sentence is, and it gives me a revised sentence that doesn't have plagiarism. We'll, we'll validate at that at some other point in time. You now have something a little bit different that you can leverage and use. This is gonna be, I want you to act as an advertiser. One of my favorite ones here. And I'm gonna go ahead and place this in. Uh, you will create a campaign to promote a product or service service of your choice. You will choose a target audience, develop key measures and slogans, select the media channels for promotion and decide on any additional activities needed to reach your goals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pretty big one, right? Uh, for the simple fact that nine times out of 10, you're for a Facebook advertiser or a TikTok advertiser or anything else, you always struggle with finding the right audience. My first suggestion request is I need help creating an advertising campaign for a new type of energy drink targeting young adults, uh, age 18 to 19. So we'll say I need an advertising campaign, Facebook ads course, target small business owners and entrepreneurs looking to improve their Facebook ad campaigns. Key messages. The next one that we're going to leverage and just kind of going through has it keeps on going. It's got slogans that it's doing. It's got incredible things and it's doing because in my prompt, I asked it what I needed it to do. As you keep developing these prompts, once you kind of get the hang of it, you can now start changing these and making them your own. We got a couple more, a web design consultant, same thing. And you got to really read some of these things. And remember, the best part of it is you can elaborate on any of these and go further down to get exactly what you're looking for. I'm gonna come over here, the next prompt. I want you to act as a web design consultant. I'll provide you the details related to organization needing assistance, designing and redeveloping their website. And your role to suggest must be suitable interface and features enhance user experience while also meeting the company's business goals. And it gives you how you gotta request it, what you should be developing in using common UI and UX principles. And as you can see, it's given you the breakdown of the way to design uh, the different sites and navigating the user experience. This is pretty high end stuff. You have the web UX experience, you have the advertiser, you have the social media angle, you have the content creation angle, and you can keep going down. Then I need a social media manager to kind of manage all the different posts and everything else. And what's wild about it is you can come over here and paste it. I want to act as a social media manager. It will be responsible for developing and executing campaigns across relevant platforms, engage with the audience by responding to questions and comments, monitor conversations, community management tools, use analytics to measure success, creating engaging content and update regularly. My first suggestion request is I need help managing a presence of organization on Twitter in order to increase brand awareness. And I'll say my personal brand as a YouTuber. Use social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, promote your YouTube channel and share updates with the audience. This can include to your latest videos, behind the scene contents, and other engaging related to the channel. That is amazing. And it keeps on going. So it gives you that incredible plan and that even tells you what Hootsuite's. Now, it says Hootsuite and Brand24, but it's honestly, remember, this is only from 2021. Obviously, there's a lot more here uh, that you can leverage into 2023. Gives you some ideas of where to go, and then you can go ahead and elaborate on these things as you kind of go through. And it's continuously writing it, which I love it. And you can ask it to expand on a particular point and so forth and so on. And then we ended up creating another one. And this is my own creation that, again, I just got from some of the great things I got from Awesome Chat GTP prompts. I got their ideas and I kind of started really elaborating on my own where I wrote my own copywriter one. I want you to act as a copywriter. You'll be responsible for developing content for blogs, websites. You need to write compelling uh, headlines, blurbs, descriptions, and paragraphs and drive people to action on the product on the website. My first request is write a website selling my course on Facebook ads. And boom, it is writing the entire website page. Obviously not the entire page, but a good portion of it. You can go deeper into it. You can have them expand on a bullet point. You can have them write three benefits, three features. You literally can build out your entire website. And again, always run through a plagiarism checker uh, because again, a lot of this content is gonna be plagiarized because it is pulling information from everywhere. But the fact that it's learning and it's acting as a human was the general direction of this tool. But now let me show you where you can even get more inspiration 
on how to use different ChatGTP and other AI tools. Fair warning that once you go into this rabbit hole, it took me weeks to come out. So I honestly implore you to just take your time with this and uh, just have a lot of fun. But there is some really crazy AI out there that you're really gonna enjoy. So without further ado, one of our favorite ones so far is futuretools.io. Uh, it's actually where I found uh, this awesome ChatGTP prompts where all you have to do is come in here and I click on inspiration and it obviously it gives you a whole bunch of stuff in there. It gives you uh, everything from all the different prompts you can use, uh, ideas for prompts for GTP. Um, it has the cheat sheets. There's, I mean, there's literally tons of stuff you can do in here. And it also starts introducing you to other AI platforms. Now, this is what blew our mind. There are so many out there. And in when you're in Future Tools IO, you can actually come in here and you can sort by most upvoted, which is my recommendation because you can see what's most popular out there, uh, depending on the different things you're doing. But you can go from inspiration, like again, like we did, where we went to awesome chat GTP prompts. We visit chat GTP prompts. Again, these guys are amazing. All the contributors in here are pretty awesome. And they give you a whole bunch of prompts. Uh, they have a whole GitHub associated with it. And as you can see, it gives you even a short video on how to leverage it and use it. Uh, to your own ability and there's even more so it, you're not only limited to that because there's literally tons that you can do we did it in the marketing angle because that's obviously what we do we're automated marketer obviously but if you come in here and you wanted to do marketing and you do upvote uh, we'll be covering some of these as we kind of go through because we found these to be incredible and we're doing some testing on there uh, and it tells you it's some different things that you can leverage and use telling you you will go down this rabbit hole you might not ever come out because there is so much out there everything from creating an avatar to chat to generating codes to motion capture even to music where i'll actually help you create music it's pretty amazing so futuretools.io i'll put the links in the in the description below the next one is futurepedia we've been in here we've been playing around with it too again very similar it's got a, a couple of different choices but you can come in here you can do audio editing uh and when you click on it it gives you again by votes you can sort it again by verified new and popular when i'm telling you there is so much ai out there that is going to make your job so much easier don't be that person that grabs whatever the ai pushes and immediately publishes it there is some uh, again plagiarism things you have to check there are factual information that might be missed again it's just doing the content creation so a lot of facts might be off so you're going to want to do some fact checking before you do it especially if you're putting content out there into the universe right but remember it's all about the prompts with chat ttp so go out there have an incredible amount of fun yeah.